Moving on, the independent group, Hjokta Thomas Pringle. Good morning, Ken Corla. I want to go in a similar type vein as uh, Deputy Murphy. Um, just as shocked as I think as everybody was to read the news that came out yesterday regarding yet another failure of the HSE management in the North West region. Recent correspondence from HICWA expresses concerns regarding a residential disability centre for adults in Donegal, where a resident had accessed child sexual exploitation material on three separate occasions in 2016, 2017 and 2021. The HICWA report states that the HSE has repeatedly failed to demonstrate fitness to the safeguard residents with disabilities in its centres. It is important to note that the only reason we know of this incident and of the HICWA correspondence is due to a leak. This is completely unacceptable and it shows the ultimate problem here. It was the same case with the Brandon report, which was another example of complete failure of HSE management. The only reason this report came to light is because myself and Minister Rabbit as well continued to press the HSE regarding it. The fact that a minister had to continuously press the HSE in the first place just to get a copy of the Brandon report is extremely concerning, Tishuk, and I would ask that you consider this as well. To date, the Brandon report has still not been published, despite the family's wish to see the full report, and we are again relying on leaks for information. Something needs to change here. When discussing the Brandon report last year, I asked, how can we be sure that this won't happen again? How can we instill trust in the HSE management? And in the case of failures occurring again, how can we ensure that we are informed of them? Sadly, months later, we are again facing another similar situation. And again, the only reason we know about this is through leaks. Tishuk, you need to put people's minds at ease. We have to know that this won't happen again, and in, and in the case that it does, we have to at least, very least, know that we know about it. There seems to be a pattern of fa failure emerging amongst HSE management. We need an investigation into the HSE management in the CHO1 area, but we also need an investigation into this community health organisation relationship nationally as well, because I think that's, that's a key part in this as well, too. There are serious concerns of how residential centres are currently being managed in Donegal, as well as Cavan, Leitham and Saigo and Monaghan. But I would also have concerns regarding HSE management nationally and how the CHOs relate to national management. I also think we need to address problems with HICWA. We have concerns regarding, I have concerns regarding their processes also, and I would be wary of placing all the scrutiny on the HSE without re recognising HICWA's role as well. One way, one way or another, we urgently need an investigation into HSE management in the NCHO1 and nationally. We need to know how management are being, dealt, being, being held accountable and how we can know that this won't happen again. Tishuk, my question is, will you ensure that necessary and timely investigations into HSE management take place following the ongoing patterns of failure occurring in our residential centres? First of all, I thank the Deputy um, for raising uh, the issues. And these are very serious issues and are taken very um, seriously by government. And as you've said, Minister Rabbit has Worked, you in relation to, in, worked with you in relation to the Brandon report, which is a shocking uh, and a very disturbing um, report in itself. Uh, and it has caused, what happened there has caused enormous distress and hurt to the families um, involved. Um, and the National Independent Review was commissioned uh, by the HSC uh, in respect of the, uh, uh, sorry, to carry out a review of abuse allegations that the HSC uh, provide a residential service for adults with a disability. Um, in respect of the advice, the Minister and, and Rabbit did seek the Attorney General's advice in relation uh, to the publication of the full Brandon report. As you know, in December last, the HSC uh, published the executive summary of the Brandon report. Um, the, and the advice received that the, it's a matter for the HSC and the Minister may not direct the HSC to publish the report. But the Gardaí, I believe, are still completing its work and have advised uh, the HSE against um, publication. Um, but the, the HSE, as the body responsible for publication, you know, has determined that the report should not be published in full. But we're not finished with that yet, and we will continue uh, to pursue that, because I do think um, full transparency is required. But we don't want to either imperil or undermine any potential investigation that the Gardaí uh, may, may pursue. Uh, in, in, in relation to this. Um, and um, in, in respect of the CHO1 um, situation there, again, he advised Minister Donnelly and Minister Rabbit in December that the Chief Inspector had concerns in relation to the ongoing governance of social care in CHO1. Um, and again, a recent, as you have outlined, a serious adult 
and child safeguarding um, concern. Uh, and again, the, 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 you know, the HICWA did conduct unannounced inspections of all HICWA designated centres for people with disabilities in Donegal, uh, except for those that had been inspected since September of 2021. But preliminary feedback on the inspections, inspections has been provided to the HSE. HICWA's report on the inspections is expected shortly. However, I'm advised um, that there were no issues identified that were not being responded to appropriately. But we have to see what that full report is and see the full report of those um, inspections. Um, and there are concerns, and the Minister is pursuing it further in terms of the broader area, uh, in terms of uh, establishing the, the response and the capacity of, of, of the CH01 area in terms of senior management there and how they're handling cases, some dating back to 216, 217. Um, and how those cases um, were managed uh, in terms of reference have been drawn up um, in relation to, to, to that particular um, exercise. Um, more generally, I think you raise uh, the issue about nationwide and so on uh, in, in terms of, of um, uh, the HSE's response uh, to, to issues of this kind. I would say in the, in the first instance uh, that the HSE have a national framework Thank you, in which there has to be full disclosure. Uh, on issues such as this and the Go clear market. benchmarks against which uh, they need to be judged Go in terms market. of fulfilling uh, those objectives. This is just in relation to um, the CHO1 issue and that you know that there was the Morris Tribunal report went on into the actions of Gardaí and at the time Official Ireland wanted to make sure that it stayed in Donegal, that that's where it was seen and, that's, and we know that that wasn't the case. And so we're going to end up in the same situation here in relation to this. And that's why I think CHO1's relationship nationally with the HSE management needs to be investigated and, and, compar and alongside that, that as well. In, re in relation to the Brandon report specifically itself, the Minister said she couldn't publish, that's right, but the HSE can't. The Minister said she can't republish the Brandon report, that's fair enough, but the HSE can. And that's the problem, Taoiseach. The HSE are law unto themselves here. Like, who are they? Who are they? they work for us. We don't work for them. Like, you know, the Irish people, the HSE work for the Irish people, and they're supposed to represent the Irish people, not the other way around. But it certainly seems to me that, that it is the other way around when they, they we're dealing with them. And the Gardaí haven't... They've finished their investigations with, 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 in relation to the Brandon report, so that they're not going to be held up as, as an excuse again by the HSE. But look, Dijek, I think we need an investigation. The, the most recent, most recent revelations you, actually took place after the Brandon report was reported, so the management hadn't changed. You, we Deputy. need to make sure that that takes place, and we need, need to make sure that people all have all a fair hearing at all stages. Again, I thank the Deputy for raising the issue, and I hear what you're saying in respect to the publication of the, of, of the Brandon report in full. Uh, and as I said, the matter is not closed uh, from, from, from government's perspective in relation to that. Uh, we don't want to undermine any... Um, disciplinary issues or any other issues that may arise out of this either um, in terms of, I'm just making the point here that's it but uh, it's not closed is what I'm saying we're not finished with this um, yet because uh, it's a very serious case and it's a very serious issue uh, and I would say more generally speaking there has to be balance here and I come back to the previous question you know our existing agencies have to be able to do the work you know increasingly almost daily now it's an independent review for this an independent review for that, where we have existing statutory agencies who are just hear me out, just just hear me, who are meant to be doing this. We have GSOC and the Gardaí. Something wrong. We have GSOC and the Gardaí. No, I think that these agencies must, and our first into the future. I think we're going to have to make sure that these agencies, like HICWA, like GSOC, do their work, like all the other bodies that are there to regulate and to enforce regulation. Otherwise, we'll have commissions every two months being established, with all of the implications that that brings with it. Don't and you know, you've been in opposition, we've asked for commissions of inquiry that are still going Thank on you, six Peter. years later. Thank I think there are issues that we need either collectively to look at as an Oireachtas, because... Ha, we're we, haram. Anyway, sorry, last question.